first, Nellie's ma last matter leaves the inside. Steve Mahar, Morgan's girl, and Gord Hennessy are ours Overton and Lonnie Stokes. Then Dusty Lane Oscar and Rick Armstrong. ROF Race and High, Sam Hodgen. Am on Aces, Todd Trites. Gotta run, gotta go, and Wayne Watson. And outside is Island Blaze. Mark Hag, eight across. Here they come. And a slow start for Ammon Aces. Off and pacing, and to the outside, Dusty Lane Oscar looking for the lead, but up the inside, the two-year-old Nellie's last matter, and has the lead around the turn. Then racing second up the inside, Morgan's Girl, and Morgan's Girl making a move now, and going and taking the lead. Nellie's last matter gets away in second, then third, Dusty Lane Oscar sitting fourth. These are ours over 10, an ROF race and high. Got to run, got to go. Sits back early in six. Island Blaze is seventh, but out and moving. And trailing the field, Ammon Aces 31 and 3. That opening quarter and up top and cutting it now, Dusty Lane Oscar. And here comes ROF Race and High on the outside and driving up now to second and going after the leader. Then inside third, Morgan's Girl. Here comes our ours Overton on the move from fourth and getting shuffled back is the early leader Nelly's last matter now finds himself back in fifth along the cones then six gotta run gotta go island blaze still seventh am on aces trails three and three the half as they round the paddock turn dusty lane oscar on top and leading on top by about a length and a half sitting second now Morgan's girl, Nellie's last matter, has now made up some ground again, is now third. R.R.'s Overton on the outside, rolling on from fourth, then fifth inside. Got to run, got to go, R.O.F. racing high on the outside, driving up again. Then Island Blaze and Ammon Aces, 136-1, and one, past the three quarters as they drive to the final eighth. Dusty Lane, Oscar, and inching up second, Morgan's Girl. Then on the outside, our, ours Overton is right there. And swinging into, on the outside, here comes ROF racing high, a late bit again. Down the stretch, Dusty Lane, Oscar, Morgan's Girl on the outside. Our, ours Overton is closing strong, but it's going to be Dusty Lane, Oscar taking the first. Then ours Overton got the deuce ahead of number two. Morgan's girl for third. And the time for the mile, 208 and four. 208 and four, Dusty Lane Oscar, and that's a maiden record. What's up, please hold all tickets. Just looking at the breaking horse. As we pray back the winner of race number one, number four, Dusty Lane Oscar. He's a three-year-old son of Pans to Reason. Out of the What a Monster Mare, Dusty Lane Lynn. Owned and bred by Ronnie Gass, trained and driven by Rick Armstrong. Dusty Lane Oscar, a maiden record today for the three-year-old Colt. 208 and four, Dusty Lane Oscar. 208 and four, scoring here in the first race. Starters behind the gate for our second race. Shady Martin, Wayne Watson, Smooth Putnam, Charlie Price. Casimir Eiffel moves into spot three and Lonnie Stokes. Jig Time Silencer, Steve Mahar, Megan L. Down, Steve Mason, JJ's Yankee, Mike Downey and Fittipaldi, Sam Hodgen. Seven this time in race number two. Kane Rise again is out sick. Here they come. They're off and pacing and going for the lead. Jig Time Silencer looking for the lead early on here. Then Smooth Putnam in along the cones, going for it as well. Around the turn, there stride for stride. Jig Time Silencer takes over. Smooth Putnam second, Shady Martin third. Then JJ's Yankee looks for a spot at the cones, gets there in fourth. Casimir Eiffel off stride now as Stokes was putting him in the hole. And Shady Martin has also rolled off. Two of them rolling off stride on way to the quarter. Megan L. Down now takes over fourth. Fittipaldi fifth. Now Shady Martin six and Casimir Eiffel trails after an opening quarter. 30 and three. And up top, Jig Time Silencer. Smooth Putnam has a two-hole trip. 
JJ's Yankee back in third. Then Megan L down fourth. Fittipaldi to the outside. Casimir Eiffel sits back in sixth after the break. And Shady Martin out and moving from the back of the pack as they approach the half. And Mahar has jig time. Silencer on the point here. And leading halfway home. Smooth Putnam second. The half in 102 and two. JJ's Yankee. Back in third, then racing fourth, Casimir Eiffel up the inside and some tight quarters there. Then on the outside, Megan L down, Fittipaldi and trailing Shady Martin on to the three quarters they go, led by Jig Time Silencer. And he's out by two and a half. We remind you the inquiry is up though. Then Smooth Putnam starting to let go in the two hole and he's losing some ground now as Jig Time Silencer Moves out by five, three quarters, 135. As they round the turn, and Jake's time silencer overpowering this field and leading by about 10 now and moving away. Jig time silencer as they come off the turn. Jig time silencer. Smooth Putnam Casimir Eiffel now gets some racing room after that early miscue. And he's got pace on the outside. Megan L down coming on, but Jig time silencer blows away the competition. In for second, Smooth Putnam. Megan L down third. We remind you the inquiry sign is up. Looking at the breaking horses to the quarter pole on the time, 2.06 and 4. Steve Mason, call the judges, please. Stevie Mason, call the judges, please. And coming back to the winner circle, the winner of race number two. Number five, Jig Time Silencer. Jig Time Silencer, a son of Largo out of the nightly blue chip mare, class in Jig Time. Owned, trained, and driven by Steve Mahar. The six-year-old picks up career win number 15. Career win 15 for Jig Time Silencer. And this afternoon, a gate-to-wire trip, a mile 206 and four. And it's Jake Time Silencer here in the second for Steve Mahar, 206 and 4. Congratulations. And the starters for the third race, Trot and Pace moving in. Impish Hart, Lonnie Stokes, Mal Pacino, and Mike Downey. Vic Victor and Steve Mahar talking about my boy and Todd Trites. Eli is coming, Mark Hag, Always Jarwa, Wayne Hubbard. And Salzburg Dandy, Gordy Hennessy, and outside eight, everybody loves Raymond and Sam Hodgen. Field of eight across the gate, the third of the day. Trot and pace, here they come. They are off and pacing Vic Victor. Plunges out for the early lead and takes it. And Vic Victor on top around the turn, then getting away second on the inside. That's Impishart up the outside, though, talking about my boy is into it, and that's Mal Pacino. And the trotting entry has rolled it off up the backside. Up front action again, Vic Victor talking about my boy, Impishart racing third. Salzbrook Dandy also has gone to a break. And now taking over fourth on the outside. That's Eli is coming. Salzbrook Dandy back pacing in the fifth. Then racing six, always Jarwa. Everybody loves Raymond. And the trotting entry just getting back on the trot by that opening quarter 30. And a two fists led up top. Vic Victor and Mahar cutting another one here. Three eighths of the mile in. Trites has the glory trip with talking about my boy in the pocket. Then Eli is coming on the outside. And he's driving first up from fourth. On the inside, Impishart still third. Always Jarwa. Salzbrook Dandy. Everybody loves Raymond. And Mal Pacino, the half, 102 and 2. Around the turn they go, Vic Victor. He's the leader. Talking about my boy, second, Eli is coming. On the outside, driving up third. Then Impishart, fourth, always. Jarwa getting into it. And he's fifth on the outside. Salzbrook Dandy, sixth. Then seventh, everybody loves Raymond and Mal Pacino trails three quarters. And Mahar looking for another gate to wire trip here by the three quarters in 133 and four around the turn. 
Vic Victor and the task at hand right now is to beat the pace setter. Talking about my boy, two and a half lengths away. Then racing third outside, Eli is coming. Impish Shart has had a great trip. She hasn't left the cones yet. But again, it's all, can they catch Vic Victor? And Mahar is going to capture another gate to wire winner here. And it's Vic Victor winning it. Talking about my boy and Impish Shart for second and third. Eli coming is fourth. And then back in fifth, Saul's Brook Dandy. And the time for the mile. 205 and 1, Vic Victor and Steve Mahar back to back winners. And printing back now, back to back winners for veteran Steve Mahar as he brings back. Vic Victor to the winner's circle, a six-year-old gelded son of Electric Yankee. Out of the Niatros mare, Aplom, all my Valerie felon, Eric Wilson trains, Steve Mahar up for the drive, and Vic Victor making every post a winning one today in the mile in a 2.05 and 1. Vic Victor scores here in the third. Steve Mahar back-to-back -back winners in the mile 2.05 and 1. And the starters for the fourth at the top of the stretch. Big V and Steve Mahar, Rita Seelster, Mark Hag, Pictonian Best West, and Jill Berrio, Debbie Zell Dorado, and Mike Downey. Ashby Corner, Todd Trites, Benda Colleen, and Gord Hennessy, and outside seven, Spud Lancharis and Gary Wright. Here they come. They're off and pacing, and Mahar, another quick start off the gate here with Big V busting for the lead. Ashby Corner on the outside gets away well, as does Rita Seelster. Now sitting in the pocket, Ashby Corner on the outside. Pictonium Best West got away racing in fourth as they straighten into the back stretch. Racing fifth on the inside, Debbie's Eldorado. Then it's back to Bandicolin. He's on the move early. And trailing the field, Spud Lancher Reese. And Trites takes over here with Ashby Corner. And Mahar elects to sit in the pocket here with Big V. After an opening quarter and 30 and a four fifths. So we've got Ashby Corner, a length and a half. Then racing second, Big V. Here comes Pictonian Best West. And the favorite is on the move first up. And driving now to second, Big V back in third. Then racing fourth to the outside and driving up. That's Bandit Colleen. Then getting shuffled back, Rita Seelster to fifth. Then racing six outside, Debbie Zeldorado. And trailing halfway home, Spud Lancher Reese the half. 102 and one around the turn. And your leader up top is Ashby Corner, Pictonian Best West. On the outside second, uh, then racing third, Bandit Colleen, a bit rough there, but back pacing as they make their way to the three-quarters, Ashby Corner, Pictonian Best West, and Barrio angles him in for a moment, and will take a breather behind the leader, but Ashby Corner looks like she's brought her A game here today for Trites. And she's got the lead three quarters, one, 32 and three. And Ashby Corner still leads by two and a half, Pictonian Best West. And it doesn't look like they're going to catch Ashby Corner as she is moving out now and leading by about five off the turn. It's all Ashby Corner, Pictonian Best West. Then Debbie Zaldorado has come to third, but it's going to be all Trites and Ashby Corner. And they're a winning combination again. Pictonian Best West second, and Debbie Zaldorado was third. And the time for the mile, 2.06, 2.06 the mile. Back to the winner's circle, winner of race four, number five, Ashby Corner. Ashby Corner, a four-year-old gelded son of life sign of the no-nukes mare, Nova, Omidon Montgomery of Quispam, Trained by Charlie Price, Todd Trites up for the steer. And these two, a winning combination. Trites 
winning both his drives on Ashby Corner in the last six drives, or in the last six starts. Ashby Corners won three times, two for Rock and Todd. And Todd picks up win number 141 this season. Stutters for the fifth, top of the stretch, Burt's Goldie and uh, Gordy Hennessy, Baby Dill, Rick Armstrong, Rosalie Sealster, and Steve Mahar, Manard Amity, Mark Hag, Lobster Tail and Beer, Wayne Watson, Diamond Hard, Lonnie Stokes, Four Deals, and Todd Trites, West Gem Princess Scratched. That's a field of seven this time here in race five. Here they come. They're off and pacing inside. Burt's Goldie busting for the lead. The Hagler on the outside. And Manard Amity going for it around the turn. And Manard Amity now gets in the two hole. Then Baby Dill got away third. Racing back in fourth. That's Rosalie Sealster on the outside. Four deals going up from fifth and going on. Then racing six, Lobster Tail and Beer. And Diamond Hurd will make a move from the back of the pack. On way to the quarter they go. Burt's Goldie and Gordy Hennessy sets up shop on the lead. 30 and 2. That opening quarter for Burt's Goldie, Manard, Amity. Positioned nicely in the pocket second. Then four deals getting parked on the outside. Inside, Baby Dill sits fourth. Then on the inside, Rosalie Sealster and Mahar is going to move now from fifth. Then Lobster Tail and Beer and Diamond Hard through the stretch, racing to the half mile point. Led up top by Burt's Goldie Manard. Amity was out for a moment, but the Hagler takes her back in behind the leader halfway home. Baby Dill back in third, the half 102. Then up on the outside, Rosalie Sealster now comes to fourth. Then racing fifth, four deals, finds a home at the Cones now, but sits back in fifth now. Lobster Tail and Beer sixth. And the trailing seventh up the backside. That's Diamond Hard on way to the three quarters. They go. Burt's Goldie half a length. Manard Amity on the outside. Baby Dill is right there. Rosa Lee Sealster just two lengths off in fourth. Four deals. Lobster Tail and Beer going up the inside. And he's only about four lengths off by the three quarters. And they were by that marker one thirty-five and two as they round the turn for the drive home. Neck and neck, Manhart Amity. Then Rosalie Sealster tipping out three wide now. And at the cones, Birch Goldie down the lane. Manhart Amity takes over. Outside, Rosalie Sealster is in gear, though. Deep strats are coming three across the racetrack. And it's going to be Manhart Amity. Rosalie Sealster gets the deuce. Birch Goldie. And then back to Lobster Tail and Beer. And the time for the mile. 208 and 3, and it's Manard Amity. Back to the winner's circle now. The winner of race number five, number four, Manart Amity. Manart Amity, a five-year-old daughter of Cam's Card Shark out of the Barberry Spur Mare, Manart Angel. Owned by the Amon Standardbreds of Moncton, trained by Earl Fram, Mark Hag in the driver's seat, and win 34, or 33 on the year for driver Mark Hag. And for Manart Amity, it's her second of the season, and today... In a 208 and 3. And the Stutters 4, our sixth race behind the gate. And moving in, we have Holiday Moon, Sam Hodgen, Tisha's Pit Pony, Todd Trites. Credible Thrill from 3 and Steve Mahar, Longworth Legacy, Post 4 and Charlie Price. Then moving in, post five, Island Exceptional, Gordy Hennessy. Andy Hanover from six, Mark Hag. And outside, my buddy Mark from post seven. And Mike Downey, here they come. They're off and pacing and a good start. Four of them busting out for the lead. Up on the inside, Tisha's Pit Pony, not for long though. And he can leave the gate, Longworth Legacy, with the best of them. And he's got the lead here and moving out by a pair already. 
He's just pit pony, my buddy Mark. He can fire it off as well. And he's got to look for a spot now. And up the inside, Andy Hanover. Got away racing in third. My buddy Mark looks for a spot. It is in there. Then incredible thrill on the inside, racing back in fifth. Racing six, Island Exceptional and Holiday Moon trails the field that opening quarter. 31 seconds flat up top. And cutting it out, Longworth Legacy, and he likes it on the lead. And that's where Charlie Price has him early on here. Tisha's Pit Pony has a good trip in the two-hole. Then my muddy mark on the outside getting parked, and he is parked third. Then Andy Hanover locked in solid from fourth, racing fifth to the outside. And a driving up, that is Island Exceptional. Then it's back to Incredible Thrill getting shuffled back as well. And Holiday Moon now trailing the half in 104 and 1 as they round the paddock turn. Longworth Legacy looking to go coast to coast here. Tisha's Pit Pony, my buddy Mark, not done yet. And he's on the outside driving on. Then right behind him on the outside. And three wide and going up there goes Holiday Moon. Fast as a ball, and she's driving on from third and going on, and she's made her way off from seventh. Now two second, and just like that, Holiday Moon has taken over the lead, but she's got company coming, though. Incredible thrill on the outside, and she's come from sixth and now second. Three quarters, 138 and one. As they round the turn, Holiday Moon got the jump on them here. Incredible thrill, late shaking loose, and we'll try it late, but Holiday Moon has a good lead. Holiday Moon, incredible thrill, and getting up for third, Tisha's Pit Pony, but Holiday Moon circled them and wins it here. In for second, incredible thrill, and third, Tisha's Pit Pony. And the time for the mile, 2.09. Back to the winner's circle here in race six. The winner, number two, Holiday Moon, a five-year-old daughter of Presidential Ball out of the Daylon Hustler mare, Holiday Hustler. All by Kevin Brown, who does the training, Sam Hodgen in the driver's seat. And she's two for her last three, and Holiday Moon scores her fifth of the season and a mile in 2.09. And a nice sweeping move by Holiday Moon as she circles the field to go on to victory the mile in 209. And the starters for the seventh race behind the gate. Daya Harlaka and Gord Hennessy. Consider me lucky, Wayne Watson. Milt and Todd Trites, my Donna, Mark Hag. Dillinger's Lady, Sam Hodgen. Funday Bay, Lonnie Stokes. Julia Down, Steve Mason, no thoughts of her own. And Jill Barrio and a break on Consider Me Lucky before the start here. Field of eight, here they come. They are off and pacing. Milt busting out for the early lead. No thoughts of her own on the outside. Inside, Daya Harlaka as they race around the turn. Daya Harlaka's got it early on here. Milt, then no thoughts of her own on the outside. Driving up three wide. My Donna got away racing in fourth. Then racing fifth, gapped out. That is Dillinger's Lady as they move on to the opening quarter. Then sitting back, that's Funday Bay in six. Consider me lucky recovering and is now racing seventh, trailing the field at the back of the pack. Julia down 31 and one opener and Trites takes over with Milt. Milt the leader, no thoughts of her own on the outside and driving on to second and looking for the lead. Neck and neck, Milt on the inside, no thoughts of her own on the outside as they tip off the three eights. No thoughts of her own has now cleared the lead. Milt is racing second. Then third, Daya Harlaka Maidana on the outside comes out to move from fourth. Right behind him, Dillinger's Lady out to move from fifth. Then it's Julia down, Funday Bay, and consider me lucky, 103 and four. Around the paddock turn they go, no thoughts of her own. 
on top. My Don on the outside comes to call second. Milt driving third. Daya Harlack off the cones now to move from fourth. Dillinger's Lady fifth, Julia down, then Fun Day Bay, and still trailing the field. Consider me lucky as they drive onto the three quarters. No thoughts of her own. My Don on the outside. Milt is patiently waiting right there. Third, three quarters in 136. And a two, no thoughts of her own. Outside, my Donna Milt is still waiting. Then Daya Harlaka still right there. Not far off in fourth, Dillinger's Lady. Now to fifth down the stretch, no thoughts of her own. My Donna on the outside coming on. They're in deep stretch, no thoughts of her own. My Donna, but it's going to be no thoughts of her own winning it. Milt gets up for second on the inside ahead of my Donna. For third and the time for the mile. 209 and two. No thoughts of her own. 29 and two. Thoughts of her own. She's a four-year-old daughter of Race in Hanover and the Warm Breeze Mary A.A. A. Ralston. Owned by Scott Hubbard, Ricky Collins. Ricky does the training. Jill Barrio driving three straight wins. No thoughts of her own. And she wins this afternoon her third straight over the off track, 209 and 2. No thoughts of her own scores in the seventh, 209 and 2. And the starters for the eighth, top of the stretch. And here's how we score out Keystone Ricochet and Wayne Watson. Order to go, Mike Downey. Tigers Colleen and Mark Hay. Ty Brin scores four, Bob McNeil. Educated from five, Steve Mahar, Wilson's Camp from six, and Lonnie Stokes. All-American Dazzle from seven, and Gord Hennessy, and outside eight, Sweet Lofty, and Traitsy. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Tigress Colleen for the lead order to go. Takes it now. And off stride. That's Ty Brin in the backfield as they make their way onto the opening eighth. Neck and neck. Keystone Ricochet order to go on the outside. And they race neck and neck. Then back in third, Tigress Colleen getting away, racing in fourth and moving to the pylons. That's Wilson's Cam. Then Educated get away, racing in fifth. All American Dazzle sixth. Then racing seventh, Sweet Lofty, and far back to Ty Brand and Keystone Ricochet. Put away order to go early here, 31 and 2, but on the outside and driving up quickly. And that's a bold move. Lonnie Stokes now going for the lead with Wilson's Cam. And they race neck and neck. Wilson's Cam on the outside now takes the lead. Keystone Ricochet is racing second off the turn. And coming to the half mile point. Back in third order to go. Then racing in fourth, Tigress Colleen. Then racing back in fifth, Educated. Six to Sweet Lofty, then All-American Dazzle, and they still race neck and neck, and not clearing was Wilson's Cam, and Keystone Ricochet kept him at bay, the half in 102 and 1, Keystone Ricochet, Wilson's Cam on the outside, appeared to have cleared, but he didn't, and out from third, there goes order to go, and the backfield is in motion, educated, tips out four wide, and she's driving up, now second, Wilson's Cam finally clears, but educated right at his wheel, then racing third, order to go, educated three quarters, 134 and 4, around on the turn, educated Mahar looks like he's got his third of the day here. Educated order to go. Wilson's Cam there in deep stretch and moving away. Educated order to go. Second, Wilson's Cam and Sweet Lofty battling there, but it's going to be educated and another win for Mahar. In for second was the six. Wilson's Cam and the time for the mile. 205 and 2. And a great last quarter by Educated 30 and 3 gets her a mile in. 205 and 2. Stutters for the ninth race. Moving in. $2,500 claiming pacers. Moving in behind the gate. Led by Katahdin Country, Joe Berrio, fastest can be. And Marquet, then Jacob, and Lonnie Stokes. Giz can do and Todd Trites. Cam's man, Mike Downey. Golden Days, Steve Mahar, Memories of Love, and Ed Harvey. Seven, 
Starters in this, the ninth race. $2,500 claimers with allowances, and here they come. They are off and pacing, and Jacob loves the front end, and he's going for it early here. Cam's man on the outside, then Katahdin Country gets away, racing in third around the turn. Racing fourth, fastest can be, then Giz can do. Sits back early on in fifth, getting away six golden days, and a trailing the field memories of love, and they're battling up front on the outside. Cam's man now takes over, and remember last week he got the lead early, and they wouldn't catch him, but uh, the give and go here, and Stokes is back out to retake with Jacob, 30 seconds even. That opening quarter, and Jacob has retaken the lead. Cam's man is second, and here comes Katahdin Country, and he's out and moving. Fastest can be also takes the outside flow, and he's moving from fourth as they tip off the turn. Then on the inside, boxed in. Halfway home, that's Trites and Giz can do. Then out and moving Golden Days, trailing halfway home, Memories of Love, and Katahdin Country trying to clear a stubborn Jacob as they were halfway home, and they were there in 102 and 2. Neck and neck for the lead, Jacob. Katahdin Country on the outside, and he shows a nose in front now, Katahdin Country. Then Jacob is racing second, Cam's man racing back in third. Then up the inside, Giz Can Do. Outside, fastest can be, Golden Days. And trailing the field, Memories of Love, Katahdin Country. And Barrio has taken over three quarters in 134 and two around the turn. Katahdin Country moving away. Now leads by about six. Katahdin Country, Jacob second. Cam's man on the outside again. And he's driving third, but it's all Katahdin Country in the lane, and he's moving away. Cam's man is second. Jacob is still there. Then late pace on the outside, coming up from memories of love, but it's going to be all Katahdin Country. Jacob gets the deuce, and it was tight for third, but all Katahdin Country as he destroys them here. 206 and a three, and Barrio's got a triple. And back to the winner's circle for the 14th time this season. Number one, Katahdin Country, an eight-year-old son of Night Country. Out of the Tyler B. Mayor, Rifka Lee, Oma Joanne Davies, Chris Davies trains. And again, win 14. Katahdin Country having his best season. And over 15,000 in the bank now. And Katahdin Country winning his 14th of the year. And this afternoon over the off-track, 2.06. And a three, win 14, Katahdin Country. And a driving triple for Joe Barrio. Winning here with Katahdin Country in the ninth. Tenth race moving in. And we have a field of eight. Skill factor, Mike Downey, Heron Bay, and Mark Hag. Then from post three, becoming Jarwa, Wayne Hubbard. Pitbull Hanover scores four, and Joe Barrio, Port Hill Digger. Lonnie Stokes from five, Rapid Kane. From post six, and Todd Trites, Select Timber, and Phil Reed from post seven. And your outside entry is OB Viking and Steve Mahar. Eight across the gate here for the 10th race. Here they come. They are off and pacing as usual. Heron Bay loves to bust the gate, and she's got the lead. Pit bull Hanover on the outside. Digging in, racing second, an off-stride skill factor, and becoming Jarwa also involved around the turn. The inquiry will go up. Up the backside they go, Heron Bay, Pitbull, Hanover second, then sliding up on the inside third, Port Hill Digger, becoming Jarwa on the outside, then racing up. Rapid Kane now sits in fifth. Skill Factor sixth again. Select Timber is seventh. And trailing eighth in the backfield. OB Viking by that opening quarter 31 and one. Up 
top end, cutting it. Heron Baby coming Jarwa, getting parked here. Pitbull Hanover is racing third, then Port Hill Digger fourth. Skill Factor is a tip off the turn, and off the three eights through the stretch to the half. Heron Bay becoming Jarwa, getting the parking ticket. Pitbull Hanover under a tight line third. Then Rapid Kane outside with the flow from fourth. Port Hill Digger, then OB Viking Skill Factor, and Select Timber the half, 103. Around the turn, Heron Bay, Pitbull Hanover. Outside becoming Jarwa, then Port Hill Digger. Outside, Rapid Kane advancing from fifth, and now tipping out three wide. Rapid Kane going on, and Rapid Kane now second. Heron Bay, though, still leads. Then Pitbull Hanover, Rapid Kane becoming. Jarwa starts to let go. Three quarters, one, 34 and four around the turn. Heron Bay, Rapid Kane on the outside. Pitbull Hanover needs some racing room. Becoming Jarwa is still there with an eighth of a mile to go. And the first seven are tight. Heron Bay now clearing the lead though on the outside. Rapid Kane, they're in deep stretch. Rapid Kane, Pitbull Hanover, too late for him. And he would have won it all, it looks like, if he had to get out. But Pitbull Hanover gets second. Rapid Kane, your winner. And the time for the mile, 2.06 and 3. And it's Rapid Kane here in the 10th. Mike Downey, call the judges. Mike Downey. Printing back to the winner circle, the winner of race 10, number six, Rapid Kane, the six-year-old son of Arcane Hanover, out of the magical Mike Mare, magical ball, Oma Jen Marie and Mike O'Neill, trained and driven, or trained by Charlie Price, Todd Trites up for the catch drive, and that's win nine of the season for Rapid Kane as he connects today, and the mile in the 206 and the three. So Todd Trites and Rapid Kane. And the starters moving in here for the 11th race. Stacked up with a field of six. We have Vise and you and Todd Trites. Health is Wealth and Mike Downey. Magnetic Bank as Jill Barrio. Rackland Fine Line, Lonnie Stokes. Membership and Steve Mahar. And outside, Gordy's Last Call and Gordy Hennessy. A field of six, top class of the afternoon. Six wide, here they come. They are off and pacing eyes on you, Magnetic Bank. A Gordy's last call fires up on the outside and driving on around the first turn. Then Health is Wealth. Got away racing in fourth. Rackland Fine Line fifth. And membership six are a tight bunch up the back stretch. On that opening eighth, Magnetic Bank, uh, then Eyes on You, and they're playing hard ball up front. Eyes on You, Magnetic Bank, uh, getting parked, and they're neck and neck for the lead. And Tritzy's playing some hard ball and handing Barrio the parking ticket early here. 30 seconds flat, Magnetic Bank, uh, but Eyes on You holds it on the inside. Then racing third, Health is Wealth. Then Gordy's last call. She's been out all the way so far, and she is fourth and Reckland fine line he may get the best trip of all here the way it's shaping up and he's back in fifth membership trail six halfway home they're neck and neck for the lead magnetic bank uh, eyes on you took him there though halfway home Gordy's last call the half in a minute and one fifth and that's the fastest half of the day and they're neck and neck magnetic bank uh, eyes on you Gordy's last call on the outside, then Rackland, fine line on the outside, tips on from fourth, racing fifth, health is wealth, and trailing the field, membership has made a break as they go to the three quarters, he's back pacing quickly though, and Magnetic Banka, uh, and if he can hang on to this one, what a trip it would be, three quarters, 132, Magnetic Banka, uh, he was parked early on, but he's driven out by a pair again, 
Eyes on You is racing second as they come off the turn. They did everything to beat them. Magnetic Bank uh, is out by three again. It's Magnetic Bank, uh, then Eyes on You second. Health is Wealth is coming on. So is membership. But what a trip by Magnetic Bank. Uh, will park most of the way. And he wins it tight for second eyes on you and membership. And four for Barrio on the day. And uh, it's again Magnetic Bank uh, two weeks straight. And today's mile three and three. And parading back with his fourth win of the afternoon, driver Jill Barrio aboard number three, Magnetic Bank, a seven-year-old gelded son of Happy Family out of the Tyler B. Mayor, Magic Puff, owned by Ray Frazier of Moncton, trained and driven by Jill Barrio, and for Magnetic Bank, a career win, 42, gives him nine on the year this season, and over 19,000 in earnings this season, Magnetic Bank uh, scores here in race number 11. The mile in a 203 and 3. Two. And the starters for the 12th behind the gate Materialism, Mark Hag, Bert and Bert, and Todd Trites. Then we have Franco Croupier, Mike Downey, Dusty Lane Buster, Lonnie Stokes, Wild Cherry. Joe Barrio, Let's Tango Lavros, Steve Mahar, Casimir Freedom, Robert Kraft, and outside Ryan's Fancy and Sam Hodgen. That's your field to round out our afternoon of racing, 12th race, field of eight. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Dusty Lane Buster busts out for the early lead. Materialism gets away racing on the inside second. Around the turn they go. And they're neck and neck for the lead. Materialism, Dusty Lane Buster. Then Bert and Burke got away racing in a third. Back fourth at the cones, Franco Croupier. Then it's Wild Cherry sitting back in fifth, but she's on the move and hoping to grab some cover. Nothing there yet, though. And behind her and moving fast, Wild Cherry just like that. And she's going for the lead here. And they're neck and neck, Dusty Lane Buster, Wild Cherry in the backfield was quickly in motion. And they're racing neck and neck, that opening quarter, 32 and 1. And that's why the field was in motion. A slow first quarter, 32 and 1. And Wild Cherry came at them. And Stokes has taken her as they approach the half. Dusty Lane Buster, Wild Cherry on the outside. Then Materialism, then second over Ryan's Fancy, Burt and Burt. Let's tango. Lavros, then Franco Croupier and trailing Casimir Freedom the half, and they were by that marker 102 and 4 and 30 and change in that second quarter, so they sped it up. And it's still Dusty Lane Buster Wild Cherry made that move with the slow pace. And she's still on the outside second. Then Materialism is racing third. And up the inside fourth, Bert and Bert past the three quarters. Dusty Lane Buster Wild Cherry. And what a trip this mare is going. They were by the three quarters. In one thirty-four and three, still neck and neck for the lead. Dusty Lane Buster, Wild Cherry, just not going away. And Bert and Bert or Materialism tips three wide, and he may be here to pick the pieces up down the lane. Dusty Lane Buster, Wild Cherry coming on again, deep stretch. Dusty Bert and Bert up the inside. Dusty Lane Buster, Bert and Bert, and the time for the mile, and they were tight across the track. 205. Printing back the winner of race 12, number four, Dusty Lane Buster, a four year old son of Collector Road under the Aberon Mare, Dusty Lane Angie. Oh, my Joe Lindsay, trained by Ron Chamberlain, Lonnie Stokes in the seat. And Dusty Lane Buster picks up 
win number five on the season and the mile. Mile and 205.